Today is September 11th. 19 years ago, I was in my office at church when one of the ministry assistants asked me to come quickly to the conference room where they were setting up a TV so we could all view what had just happened. A plane had flown into one of the Twin Towers there in New York. The crash into floors 93 through 99 was horrific because the plane was nearly full of fuel. There was fire, chaos, fear, and death. Those poor souls who worked there and in the floors above. I had stood at the base of those towers, so I had a point of reference as to how massive they were. I knew they wouldn't come crashing down, but what a mess it would be to clean up such a reckless accident. Was the pilot drunk? You know, what in the world? So as newscasters speculated about the accident, the cameras directed toward the towers picked up a second plane. And we watched as it flew directly into the second tower. I remember one of the newscasters swearing in shock and then everything went silent as we struggled to grasp what was happening. The staff and I stood staring and then started praying. We realized the crashes were not accidents, but attacks. The two fires intensified and then nearing the one hour mark, the first tower began to crumble and came crashing down. I remember our reactions were loud. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. Many cried. Who? How? Those poor people still inside the tower. We kept watching and 45 minutes later, the second tower came crashing down as well. And at that, we closed the office and went home to our families. We just wanted to be with them, hold them, find comfort in what would be many unsettling hours as we heard about the crash at the Pentagon and in the Pennsylvania field. All in all, about 3,000 deaths, 25,000 injuries. Many of those were first responders because while most everyone ran as fast as they could to get away, those brave men and women raced to the scene to help. No wonder they were hailed as heroes. And since that day, life has never really been the same. So today, as we reflect on both the horror and the heroism displayed 19 years ago, here are a few responses to consider. Number one, hold your loved ones close. You never know what a day can bring. Two, refuse to live in fear. Faith in God is the only antidote, so trust Him with your life and those you love. Three, don't let your heart become so enamored with the things of this world. For Christians, that day was another poignant reminder that we live in a fallen world that will never really get better. Utopianism is a pipe dream. But that's okay because our hearts long for our heavenly home, where we receive a heavenly body to live with our loving Father and His eternal family. That's glorious hope. Four, America has many enemies who would love to divide and conquer us. We must work to stay united as a people and do everything we can to promote compassion, understanding, forgiveness, and love. Fifth, live with a spirit-inspired sense of urgency regarding our gospel mission. If we become complacent, we'll not make the most of the opportunities God gives us to minister to those in need. For those of us who remember 9-11 vividly, today is sobering. I may laugh and enjoy my loved ones, but I will never forget that day. And actually, I don't want to. Because in some ways, it was a wake-up call, even for me as a pastor, to reevaluate my life and priorities. Today, I'll be doing that again and it will be good. And in the days ahead, we as Christian leaders are once again calling believers everywhere to pray for ourselves, for America, the upcoming election, 
Franklin Graham is leading a march and prayer event on Saturday, September 26th. Another group is gathering at the mall. We will be gathering here in our own community on that morning to pray, to repent, to look to God, to hear our prayers, forgive our sins, and bring healing to our land. As for today, let's make the most of it. Thank the Lord for his blessings. Yield to his Spirit's leading in your life. Serve him well. Thanks for listening. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.